sleep isn't as easy as you might think it is. Well, okay, it is as easy as you might think it is, but some people have trouble with it. So here are some quick tips on how to be as well rested as possible so you could take on that case of the Mondays. That's like what the cat says, the orange one that likes lasagna. Are they gonna get that? Is that a cultural reference that people... Eight hours is about how long it takes for you to get to the depth of sleep necessary in order to really recharge your body and your brain. Bottom line, sometimes this just isn't possible. But don't worry, because there are what's called alternative sleep cycles that might be able to help you out in a pinch. So if you really feel like you're not gonna be able to get eight hours of sleep one day, try one of these. Biphasic is probably the easiest one to start doing, but still, if you could manage to plan out taking regular naps, you're going to be much better off than if you've tried to just skip sleep completely for a day, and it may just work out for the better. Having a nighttime ritual that you do before bed can be very, very helpful, as you can kind of get your body into a groove. The most important one, probably, is it needs to happen at least half an hour before you actually plan on being unconscious. Uh, other than that, it can include a multitude of things, anything that would calm you down. Maybe listening to some really, really nice music. I recommend Strauss for this particular affair. Some people keep a diary or a journal or a captain's log like I do. That's one way of keeping track of all the things you could be grateful for the day and getting all of your worries and woes onto something other than the head that's trying to sleep. But we could think about clearing our minds of all the stress and the unhappiness or the worries of the day. You can't go to sleep if you're overthinking everything, that's a fact. Most importantly though, it's important to not have anything with a screen be part of your pre-sleep routine. All those bright lights flashing at you make it hard for your eyes to rest. If you're still having problems falling asleep, try writing down and keeping track of what time you fall asleep every day and what time you wake up. This might help you detect patterns on what throws off your sleep cycle. It might seem a little bit silly at first, but after a little bit of practice, you might find it'll be very helpful. It's a good way of keeping yourself accountable and being aware of what times you're actually going to bed. And after a while, you might be able to better explain some of the things that might not be obvious at first glance. It might make some sense to think, hey, maybe I'll just make myself really, really tired and that way it'll be easier to sleep, right? Of course, you've gotten your best sleep ever when you were tired. Well, it's not quite that simple and here's why. Of course, exercise is part of a healthy lifestyle and physical exhaustion is a good thing to have happen to your body, but it's not a great idea to do it within an hour of trying to sleep. You see, being tired and being sleepy are not necessarily the same thing. The rushing of adrenaline, the raising of body temperature, it takes a long time to equal itself out. So while it may be very easy to lie down, it might not be as easy to fall asleep. And lastly, and perhaps the most fun thing that you can do to help yourself sleep, is eating. That's right, there are some things you can eat and even smell that will probably lead to a better sleep, especially if you make it part of your nightly routine. For example, if you decided to have turkey for dinner, you would find your body with a lot more melatonin, uh, a chemical that we think helps sleep. It's no secret that drinking tea can also help some people sleep, especially chamomile. But did you know that's also true of things like yams? It should probably go without saying that you should refrain from drinking caffeine and coffee and other drinks. But on the other side, there's lavender, and some people think that smelling lavender is a very soothing thing. And lastly, midnight snacking probably isn't your best option, but if you have to, try some cheese and crackers. These quick tips and tricks are the first step into taking that really, really nice and long, healthy sleep. So good night, everyone, and sleep well. Um. So I'm here with some tips and trips on how to make the most out of your unconsciousness so that you can be ready for those days when nothing seems to go right. Quack.